To install the template you'll need for PubMed in Inspire, open up the zip file and drag the PubMed Medline directory into your Inspire dataset root templates directory. Copy that in there. Make sure it has these files. And then when you start Inspire, in the dataset editor, when you click New, you should see a PubMed Medline as a template. Now, to get a search from PubMed Medline into Inspire, go to the PubMed website and type in your search parameters. I'm going to search for a uh, chicken allergy. Your search results should have between 100 and 10,000 results. Uh, any less than that or more than that is not going to give you an optimal uh, visualization. Once you have a result set that you'd like to visualize, over here there is a send to. You're going to choose file and under format choose Medline and create file. Save this file somewhere that, somewhere that you'll remember. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Now to add this result to Inspire we need to first put the file that we saved to the desktop into the sources directory. So if you still have your uh, your dataset root templates window open, just go back a level here. And you'll see under inspire dataset root there's a sources directory. And if you take that results file that you've downloaded and stick it in the in the sources directory, then when you're in Inspire, choose the PubMed Medline template that you just installed and choose Next. And then you're going to add that file and it defaults to the sources directory so we just need to find the PubMed file there. Choose Add. From here you can change the dataset name so you can remember what it is. And then if you click Next, you'll notice uh, all of the fields that are inside the document that, that uh, delimit all the separate sections of each article. And these are all pre-made for you, and this is the benefit of using the template that you installed. If you didn't have that, you'd have to manually go in and create all of those. And when you click Finish, you will see in the dataset editor your new dataset starting to process and then it will change to scanning and then available and when you're at available it'll be ready to go let's take a look 